IGN's next big game brings fans inside the biggest games of the year. Today's episode is all about Assassin's Creed Origins. We'll tell you everything you need to know and sit down with the game's director for an inside look at Ubisoft's upcoming epic. I'm Max Scoville, and this is Next Big Game. In 2007, the first Assassin's Creed game introduced players to open-world stealth parkour action amidst a backdrop of historically mostly accurate science fiction infused with secret society intrigue and lore, and since then, the series has turned players loose in Rome, Constantinople, Victorian London, and both the French and American revolutions. Now, it can be a bit daunting to jump into a series as long-running and lore-heavy as Assassin's Creed, but worry not, we have prepared a quick refresher course to get you up to speed. Here is everything you need to know about Assassin's Creed Origins. Ubisoft took a year off from its flagship action-adventure series, but it's finally time to explore a brand new historical playground. Assassin's Creed Origins takes us all the way back to around 50 BC and drops us into a beautifully realized ancient Egypt. Trading in the crowded confines of cities like Paris and London for the seamless, wide-open environments of Egypt, you'll trek across scorched desert sands and the lush Nile Delta. You're free to delve the depths of the Great Pyramids and explore ancient cities like Memphis and Alexandria. Exploration and discovery are a major focus in Assassin's Creed Origins, and with a brand new crafting system and the return of tombs and location-based puzzles, there's more to see, find, and conquer than ever before. I will take care of this, Osman. You should leave. Assassin's Creed Origins is the earliest game in the franchise to date, taking place centuries before the first Assassin's Creed. You'll play as Bayek, the last of the Medjai, an order of protectors and defenders appointed by the Pharaoh. As with every Assassin's Creed, you'll be bumping shoulders with historical giants like Julius Caesar, Cleopatra, and her brother, the Pharaoh Ptolemy XIII, as a larger story unfolds. But most importantly, Assassin's Creed Origins sets up the beginning of the Assassin's Brotherhood, laying the groundwork for the shadowy organization we've come to know and love over the past ten years. Origins' fighting system has been completely rebuilt from the ground up for more control. Moving away from timing-specific animation-heavy combat, Origins introduces a new freeform hitbox system, allowing you to tackle enemies in new ways. Supporting this new take on the action is a brand new RPG and progression system that lets you collect weapons and armor of varying quality to customize Bayek and fit your style. Customization is much deeper in Origins, and coupled with the expansive new skill grid, there are plenty of ways to face the dangers of Egypt. Discover the secrets behind the beginning of the Brotherhood when Assassin's Creed Origins releases on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC on October 27th. Personally, I'm just fascinated by the sheer scale of Origins. This game is legitimately massive. I had the chance to sit down with game director Ash Ismail to get a little bit of an insight into how this behemoth of a game got made. Let's take a look. I'm here with Ashraf Ismail, who is the game director on Assassin's Creed Origins. You've been working on this for quite some time, haven't you? When we shipped the game four years, right after Black Flag, we started Origins, so it was a very quick turnaround, and somehow four years passed. The world is, uh, is absolutely massive. Yes. I, I'm not kidding when I say we took the Black Flag map and replaced all the water with land. Oh, man. It's a huge world. By exploring the world, you're learning about lore, you find rewards, you find new gear, you find surprising narrative moments. <laughs> The idea being that we consistently reward you for exploring this world and discovering all its wonderful details. So talk a little bit about how the combat works. The big difference between previous ACs is that it's a, it's a hitbox-based system now. You swing your weapon anywhere, uh, you're, you're gonna either hit or not hit. There's two types of players that play AC, warriors and stealthy players. And we felt that both should be enhanced, if anything. And on top of that, now because we have bows, we have the ranger play style, we have the manipulation play style. These are all things that we wanted players to be able to craft the kind of character they want, even if it's a hybrid of all these, whatever shape it takes. When researching this game, have you gotten a chance to ride a real camel? Uh, actually, some people on the team did. We even mo-capped a camel, if you can believe that. Did you really? Uh, suit and all. Now, hold on, um, hold on, turn, turn back around there. Is that a mobile haystack? That is a mobile haystack. So you can hide on the go? Yeah. There we go, so check that out. He doesn't realize what's going on. Here we have what we call a brazier. This is kind of like an alarm. 
So just walk up to it. There you go. There we go. Is that it? I got it. I don't think you like that. No, and I think his shield's on fire. We really pushed ourselves to, to bring something new to Assassin's Creed. We wanted the world of Egypt to come to life. I'm, I'm super proud of our engineers and our artists for allowing us to build such a massive, beautiful world. Ash, thank you so much for taking the time to chat, but more importantly, thank you for taking the time to make such a massive, beautiful Assassin's Creed game. Thank you. Assassin's Creed Origins hits PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC on October 27th, and if you want to know more, there is a wealth of information about it on IGN. Be sure to follow Next Big Game on Facebook and share this episode with your friends. Tune in next week and we'll get you properly briefed on Call of Duty World War II, and there's lots more to come after that, including Star Wars Battlefront II and Dragon Ball Fighters. Until then, I'm Max Scoville, and this is Next Big Game. <laughs>